I'm Graham the Bin Buster and welcome back to my channel. Today I got an awesome video for you guys. So you guys can see it's outside, it's a fall day. You know what that means? It's time for football season. Yeah, football season starts tomorrow, Thursday, September 7th. I'm excited for it and today I'm going to give you guys a top 10 list of the greatest football movies of all time. I went through this list and I made a list of 10 films, but you'd be like, Ben, these are your films. Yeah, th these started off as my films, and then I went through different websites, found 20 of the top films, narrowed them down to 10 of what they said their top 10 were, did scientifically proven facts of checking them, watching each one of these 10, and giving you guys four criteria of why these are the greatest films of all time. Number one is authenticity. How authentic is it to the sport of football? Number two is inspiration. How inspiring is this movie? Number three is the storytelling. How great is this story being told to everyone who's watching it? And number four is filmmaking. The filmmaking aspect of it is done from the time frame that the movie was made, not from today's standards. So those are the four criteria and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Number 10, We Are Marshall. Griffin, let's go! I love you, Chris Griffin. Hey, that was a big hit today. No one's not proud of it. We are Marshall! Almost home. A new day. What's happened? All 75 people are dead. <laughs> in the greatest disaster in college sports history. When a plane crash claims the lives of members of the Marshall University football team and some of its fans, the team's new coach and his surviving players try hard to keep the football program alive. This is a really strong football movie that focuses on an entire team and the spirit of an entire school rather than a single athlete, which gives a unique perspective and quality to this film. Unlike other things on the uh, other ones on this list, the movie has some important lessons on bouncing back and rebuilding when it seems nothing will ever be the same again. This football movie does a really good job of inspiring the viewer and communicating an affirming message about continuing with your life after a tragedy. There's also some really good actual football gameplay on display as well here. Number nine, The Replacements. The players' strike became official at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to finish the season anyway. We're going to use replacement players. They've all played football somewhere. Not all of them in the pros, but they all have something unique to bring to the game. Hey, Scab! I don't want trouble. One, two, three! Thanks, guys. Hey, Falco, you're not even a has-been. You're a never was! We're gonna take those people and try to put together a winning team. Nothing else. They should be fun to watch. The Replacements is a football comedy movie about a pro football strike where the team's owners go off and hire substitute players. Starring Gene Hackman and Keanu Reeves. As far as a ragtag groups in sports movies, the scabs and the replacements are fun to watch, and while the movie likes to get in a few laughs, they shrewdly balance out the comedy with the redemption story of Gene Hackman and Keanu Reeves' characters. It's a great football movie, to be sure. The Replacements is another great football comedy movie. It does a great job of mixing comedy with solid gameplay and inspiring message about second chances and features some great acting from both Keanu Reeves and Gene Hackman.
Number 8, Draft Day. This is the draft day Browns fans were waiting for. Sonny, I hope you're listening. You run this team. You're the general manager. You can fix it. Hey, Tom. Hey, Sonny. Sonny. Every year, someone comes out of this looking like a donkey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good, because tomorrow I got a feeling it could be you if you don't make this deal. Draft day is a film set during the NFL draft, obviously, where GM Sonny Weaver has the opportunity to rebuild his team when he trades for the number one pick. He must decide what he's willing to sacrifice on a life-changing day for a few hundred young men with NFL dreams. Draft Day is one of the more interesting football films because it is almost entirely about the behind the scenes of the NFL draft and takes place in a span of a single day. This built in ticking t clock is something that many films don't take advantage of enough and I think it helps make for a really interesting and worthy football movie. This is a really great movie for those who love professional football and gives you a dramatized glimpse into how teams operate behind the scenes. Sometimes you need to do something unique with your football movie, and Draft Day is that. Number 7, Brian Song from 1971. This is a story about two men. They competed for the same job. One was white, the other black. <laughs> One liked to talk a lot. You said, uh-huh. The other was shy as a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. Hey, rookies got to stick together. Our story is about how they came to know each other, fight each other. I'm going to whip you, Sayers, but you got to be at your best. And help each other. I think I, I owe you a beer. I owe you a lot more than that. Yeah. To me, this movie is near and dear to my heart. I am a Chicago Bears fan. I root for him no matter what, and this is a story that takes place about one of my favorite teams in all of sports, the Chicago Bears. Brian's Song is a football movie based on a real-life relationship between teammates Brian Piccolo and Gail Sayers. Both were running backs in the NFL, and both were running backs for the Chicago Bears. And the bond established when Piccolo discovers that he is dying of cancer. Brian's Song is similar to the bang the drum slowly because it follows an athlete with medical complications and focuses on a friendship much as it does the actual sport. Brian's Song from 1971 is based on a true story, and while it isn't as fun to watch as many of the other films on this list, it's very inspirational and shows the true power of football. <laughs>
Number six, remember the Titans. You smile. Why are you smiling? Football's fun. You think football is fun? Yes, no. No? Certainly, uh, but it was fun. Not anymore, though, is it? Is it? No, not by now. No, time. it's not fun anymore. Not even a little bit. Zero fun, sir. All right. Remember the Titans is a great football movie about the true story of a newly appointed African-American coach and his high school team on their first season as a racially integrated unit. Remember the Titans is a movie about the power of sports as a unifying force. It teaches us that we have to endure as a team and you quickly forget differences like a person's ethnicity because your own core humanity is exposed and there's nothing left to hide behind. This movie has some really wacky gameplay portrayals, as well as a scene where hydration is seen as a form of weakness, but no movie ages perfectly. Remember that Titan seems to capture a specific cross-section of football fans and enjoyed The Blind Side, The Express, and Friday Night Lights. The only thing that holds this movie back is the actual on-field gameplay. <laughs> Every Sunday, millions of fans experience the power and rush of NFL football. But in 1976, Body kill me! for the Philadelphia Eagles and a fan named Vince Papali, Vince, we've had some rough times, you and me. Bob, things are going to turn around. It was time to do something. Welcome the new head football coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, Mr. Dick Vermeil. That had never been done before. This coming Saturday, Philadelphia Eagles will hold open tryouts. Invincible is a football movie based on the story of Vince Papale, a 30-year-old bartender from South Philadelphia who overcame long odds to play for the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles in 1976. This football movie is inspirational a bit dark, and pretty funny at times, and it's one of the most memorable moments where the main character carries around a hurtful note from his ex-wife. What sets this movie apart from many others on this list are the practice scenes. There's a ton of good football gameplay in this film, an inspiring story that also happens to be true. <laughs> Most of my players are farm boys, or they're from the inner cities. Football is their deliverance. The program is a great movie about football, about several players from different backgrounds as they try to cope with the pressures of playing football at a major university. Each deals with the pressure differently. 
Some turned to drinking, others to drugs, while some to studying. What else would you do in college? The program is one of the few football films that is painfully honest about the circumstances surrounding the game. This football movie is also showing some of the strategy and inner workings of the game better than most. There are some really great lines and performances in this film, like from the late James Caan, who is this is his second movie on this list. The other one was Brian Song from 1971, where he played Brian Piccolo. The program is a great mixture of a behind-the-scenes cynical look at football paired with an earnest devotion to the game. There are some very serious moments, some really funny moments, and some very honest stories. <laughs> Now, if you want to win state, you're going to have to beat a team of giants, a team of monsters over in Dallas that outweigh you about 30 pounds a man. This is real sincere warfare. We're in the business of winning. Run, 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 run. Yes, Should we believe the hype? What hype? The hype about Booby Miles. Now, hype is something that's not for real. I'm all real. What's it like being the quarterback? I mean, this is a big responsibility for a 17-year-old kid. Do you think you can handle it? No, that is not acceptable. I hope so. Your dad played at Permian. What's it like to be the son of a local legend? Tell me why you can't hold on to the ball. Maybe this is hell. Oh, oh, two, football. Next question. Friday Night Lights is a football movie based on H.G. Bissinger's book, which profiled the economically depressed town of Odessa, Texas, and their heroic high school football team, the Permian High Panthers. Friday Night Lights is a pretty authentic look at West Texas football and how the sport affects more players, but also their families as well, and members of their community. That can be a lot for some young kids who have the weight of their town and the world on their shoulders, all while trials try still to figure out who they are as people. You don't need to feel bad for them or pity them, but the movie focuses on the right topics, in my opinion. Friday Night Lights is a really well done football film that takes the Texas high football culture and presents it in a really straightforward manner without the excessive glamour, great on-field gameplay, and great storytelling. <laughs> given Sunday. We jump from Friday to close out our weekend with pro football in our number two movie, Any Given Sunday. This movie gives us a behind-the-scenes look at the life-and-death struggles of a modern-day gladiators and those who lead them onto the battlefield. You might notice that critic and audience scores when you look them up for this film aren't as high as some of the other movies on this list, but there are a lot that they don't take into account. This is for better or worse. One of the more accurate depictions of the modern age of pro football, many politics and selfish attitudes are intentionally ignored by many, but these are real-life factors, and any true depiction would touch on them in a film like this. The football of this movie has a cynicism of the program. It has the exciting gameplay of the replacements at Friday Night Lights. It has the behind the scenes politics of Draft Day. Top it off with the filmmaking prowess of Al Oliver Stone. And what you get is any given Sunday a truly great football f movie. But yet, it's not our number one. <laughs>
number one, Rudy. After high school, I'm going to play football at Notre Dame. Chasing a stupid dream causes nothing but you and everyone around you heartache. We're now down to our number one football movie of all time, and that is Rudy. This is such a great football movie about a young man who has always been told that he was way too small to play college football, but he's determined to overcome the odds and fulfill his dream of playing for Notre Dame. A great sports movie needs to inspire, and it needs to show the values of hard work and commitment. Rudy does just that, and it uses one of the greatest sports programs to do so. There are a few films where, by the end, you feel as accomplished for playing so little time, but well, that's the beauty of the sports movie, and how passion can lead to great things. Rudy isn't as flashy as many of the others on this list, but it's a true story that is pragmatic, inspirational, and a testament to the power of tenacity, and some wonderful acting, and great gameplay, and an unforgettable score. <laughs> that look at the top 10 greatest football films of all time. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.